Hello everyone, happy Friday. And today we are gonna work on our overscatter. And I know some people are like, what the what is an overscatter? Well, for my beginners, I'm gonna show you so you can get it and you can be busting it with me. So first we're gonna start warming up. I'm gonna back up some. <laughs> and we're gonna open our legs and we're gonna start down here. We're gonna come up. This is a way to warm up without jogging, without running in place or doing jumping jacks. Um, you just keep on doing it until you feel warm. You're gonna lock your knees as you keep going up and keep your hands on the floor. So, uh, yeah. And after you do that for a while, you're gonna sit here for a minute. Not for a minute, 30, 30 minutes to a minute, but, you know, to warm up your hips. If you hit your hips, um, popping and opening up, that's a good thing. Um, this also helps with your elasticity. Remember, I told people what an elasticity is: being able to keep your body in the the uh, the the way, shape, or form of what it is already. So, like, if you're already in the scrattle, you know, uh, it it keeps your ability to stay in that scrattle. So now we're gonna come up, straighten our knees, we're gonna go to the left, I mean to the right. Don't judge me. And we're gonna bend it straight. This is another way to warm up your hips. Warm your legs up. And you're just gonna hold it here for you know a good amount of time. 30 to a second, but we put I mean 30 minutes. I mean not 30 minutes, 30 seconds to a minute. <laughs> but you know, um for the sake of the video, but in reality you hurry for like 30 seconds and up. So that you can uh get the the older you are, the more time it takes you. To hold it but like if you're an adult start at one minute if you're a child 30 seconds and then eventually you work yourself up to 30 seconds i mean uh, 30 seconds three minutes my left side is the bad side as y'all can see ah! you, always, you always have a good and a bad leg and in, in um dance We warming up our hips and then, and then we're gonna stretch them and then I'm gonna show you ways to open up your hips. Throughout the video, I'm gonna show you how to open up your hips. Woo. Ten seconds. And then now we're gonna go down the middle. Reach, reach as far back as you can. You can, you can always put your hand here and pull here, but I feel like that that screens it. So I just, you know, I put my hands on the floor and I reach back. You no, know? and I usually hold this for like three minutes. But if you start enough, like I said, thirty seconds to a minute. But as an adult, like if you start up as an adult, like I did, your goal. Your very first goal is to get to a minute. And then eventually you work yourself up to, to a minute. I meant three, three minutes. Why can't you say a minute, minute, minute? <sighs> now we're gonna like. <sighs> now we're gonna lower this to the side. It's gonna help open up your hips and stuff. You're gonna feel it here and here as you moving over. So you know, keep on. Ooh, I felt that thing, boy. <laughs> I felt that thing. <laughs> and imagine I do this every day and I still feel it. So now we're going to turn it over to the right. We're going to do a lunge. We're going to do some push-ups. Five push-ups, too. Four, five. And then we're going to put our elbows down. Keep your head down. Don't screen it. Keep our elbows down and stuff like that. Then we're gonna drop our knee. Now, after you leave your, you're gonna feel your hip. This 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 is the way to help the, the lunges, doing lunges helps you open up your hips. So now we're working on opening up our hips. This way right here, this also helps open up your hips as well. And just you're gonna feel this, but it helps as well too. 
it stretches you, it stretches your hips and it opens up your hips. So you're going to pull that back leg behind you with the opposite arm and keep the opposite, the other arm on the floor. You're going to feel it in your thigh, your thigh right there. Also, you should feel it in your hips as well. Just going to keep your hips at a square. Usually we go back this way, but I'm not going to, you know, go back this way. I'm going to just turn around and go the other way because we're scratching our hips and stuff. So, now we're going to do the left lunge. Whew. And we're going to do push-up. Yeah, five push-ups. Usually in dance, we do 10 to 20. And then we drop our elbow. And we drop our head. Whew. Give me a second. We usually drop both. Then we drop our knee. <sighs> now we're going to do the same thing we did the other side. We're going to bring that leg, the, the back leg up with the opposite arm. We're going to pull it back. You should feel it here. Okay. Ooh, now we're going to shake it out. Ooh, now we're going to shake it out, honey. Now we're going to shake it out. Ooh. Shake it out, honey. Shake it out. Now, now we're going to get in something. <coughs> Sorry, I apologize. Now we're going to get something similar like crisscross applesauce. So you're going to be more like a box. This helps open up your hips a lot. Other than doing froggy, and I'll show y'all what froggy is in a few minutes if you do not know what froggy is. But you put your, le your legs like you're in crisscross applesauce, and you're going to reach. And you're going to reach. And you go down as far as you can. And you hold this 30 seconds when you're first starting off, and then you, you get, basically you get to a minute. Once it, once it, once you do it like nothing, when you add a minute, eventually, you just bring up how long you hold it. You get what I'm saying? So if you get, if, if at a minute, it don't hurt, eventually you try to get to two minutes. You get what I'm saying? And so we're going to come up, and we're going to do the same thing we just did with this leg. So now we're going to put the right leg on top, and the left leg at the bottom. This helps with your overstride oil as well. Okay. This it gotta be more like a box, okay? So you gotta go down here. And you just go as far as you can. You just keep on reaching. Reaching out in front of you and stuff like that. Okay. And if you know, you come up, oh God, and then, okay, okay, and then, and then we do froggy. If you want to, if you, if you don't know what froggy is, froggy is basically, you know, you basically land on your stomach like this, and you basically flexing your foot, uh, but I'll save that video. I'll save that for another video, showing people how to flex and point, flex and point. So this is basically froggy. Your legs are like this. This helps open up your hips and stuff like that. And, um, apologize, I'm trying to push my hips a little bit more down. So, uh, this is basically froggy, Who don't, whoever don't know what it is. This is a good way to help open up your hips and it helps with your elasticity as well. Uh, for y'all who, like I said, who don't know who, what elasticity is, I mentioned it earlier. <sighs> I'm trying to sit here for a minute. <clears throat> sit here for like 30 seconds. I'm not even going to try to tell you to sit here for like 10 seconds because that's unrealistic. But you know, like I said, if you just starting off, you always begin with 30 seconds. Just, and you do it in increments. Like, you know, if you're just starting off through three sets, 
up each, but 30 seconds each. But see, once you get there, eventually you'll get to a point where you can just hold it for three minutes straight without doing it to sets. Y'all yeah, see my legs are all the way down. But once I get to that level, I push my, you know, you can do push-ups here, and you can push yourself up. You see more space? You see, see more space down there? That's because, you know, that's when you get to the next level. But for now, we're just going to stay down here as much as possible. I mean, you know, you stay here, and you go down. You know, if you're a dance teacher, if you want an extra push, just have somebody come, put one foot right here, put another foot right here, and they push you down. Okay, now we're going to stretch our hips. So we're going to get up. Uh, oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> we're going to get up. We're going to open up our legs. Just like this. This is just to stretch your, your, your hips. So I'm just warming up my hips down the middle. You can start like this, but, you know, you stretch your hips just so you can go down. We gonna hold this for 10 seconds right now, but you know, like I said, lay it down line 30 seconds. You're gonna feel it here. And you're gonna also feel it here. And then we're gonna switch over. Day. Once you get down, like, okay, look, eventually, though, I'm going to show y'all that I, I cheated just a little bit. So, when you just begin it off, you keep your head down. And then when you get to the floor, when you finally reach the floor, that's when you, you lift your head up. So, I apologize for that. Ooh, you should feel that thing in your hip. So now we're going to come up. Now we're going to shake it out. And we're going to go into the over Woo! Okay. Let me shake it out because my legs hurt. Woo! Shake it out. Shake it out. Woo! Now, before I get started, there's two names for over straddle. Over straddle is one, of course, duh, and then the other one is up and over. So, uh, that's another way you'll hear. Um, I'll show you up and over I, I do the over straddle. But in dance, you have to keep your alignment. So, I'm, I'm using the wall right now so that I can have a straight line when I do my alignment as well. So, we're going to do like this. And we're going to go down. And then we're going to put our hands in front of us. Now, I'm, I'm lower than this. I'm lower than what I am. But I didn't. But that's basically an over scratcher. And then I'm going to show you what up and over is, okay? Up and over is basically you're here. And then you're going to rock. And then you're going to go here. And that's basically up and over. And you're going to pull yourself through. Through. You, you get it so thanks for watching if you like this video please hit that like button put hit that subscribe button share it comment holla at your girl and do yourself and check out my next video peace out people bye